Starting a new job is not always easy. There's nerves, unfamiliarity, and oftentimes you just try to survive the first couple of weeks without getting fired. If anyone knows that feeling, it's the Packers' newest draft class who hit the field for the first time this week for rookie minicamp. And it sounds like it was an experience that they won't forget. Woo! The Packers rookie class was fired up to lace up their cleats and practice for the first time as members of the Green and Gold. Just seeing the stadium, putting that helmet with that G uh, logo on it, it's just surreal. It's pretty crazy just kind of seeing Lambeau, just kind of seeing the, the stadium. I've, uh, I've never seen anything like it. Playing at Lambeau isn't the only thing that the rookies will have to get used to. I was expecting it to come up here and it'd be like super cold. Like just just off the wall, freezing cold. It's just still amazing. It's still a historical history behind here that I keep learning about every day. That's what the off season is about, learning. Whether that's from coaches, teammates, or just understanding the playbook. Adjusting to, you know, different verbiage and stuff like that. And, you know, just adjusting to each, to, to the personal scheme of the team. Um, I feel like that's something that we're all working on. Just kind of coming in with, uh, some guys in your in your room that you can kind of just like uh, lean on, just kind of get through uh, practices and kind of feed off each other. Everybody comes from different backgrounds and all that stuff, so we're just trying to get a different feel from it. And we're just trying to um, basically like just come over with the chemistry. It's all a work in progress. Just ask defensive tackle TJ Slayton, who is still waiting to meet his new defensive coordinator, Joe Barry. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I don't really know what he looks like either. So. <laughs> For Packers head coach Matt LaFleur, after having a virtual offseason last year due to COVID, he's just excited to have the opportunity to work with his new players on the field. It, it feels so good to be out there with these guys. I, I'll tell you the one thing that was extremely noticeable was just the energy level and the effort of these guys um, was outstanding. And that was just the rookie minicamp. LaFleur is expecting a number of vets to show up for voluntary OTAs on next Monday from the 24th through the 27th. But if you're on Aaron Rodgers' watch, don't hold your breath. The key date to watch for that is June 8th through the 10th when the entire roster is expecting to show for mandatory minicamp.